original boat is sitting still, except for the rocking of the waves. The only abandoned vessels we usually see, like I said, were either the ones that are in terrible shape or to try to hide them from being repossessed from the bank. In this case, it's neither. The boat is in gorgeous shape and its tags are up to date. But Wayne Ball, the man who owns the 38-foot catamaran, hasn't been seen in more than a month. We're not even sure who brought the boat here. It showed up overnight. We know it's registered to Mr. Wayne Ball. The city's tried emailing and calling Mr. Ball. The city's harbor master even checked hospitals. Most of Ball's addresses are P.O. boxes in Florida and Georgia, but still no sign of Mr. Ball. We're not looking at this as a crime yet. Where is Wayne Ball? Can you help us find Wayne Ball? The last GPS coordinates on the boat show it was in the Keys, but now Latitudes has sat at the Naples dock for more than 40 days, racking up more than $1,500 worth of boat slip fees. But the city isn't concerned about the money. We're more concerned about where's Mr. Wayne Ball and why isn't he here with the boat. Right now it's just a slip being used. I did some digging and found court records that show he's been arrested in several counties in the past and he's been convicted of writing worthless checks. It's a valuable boat. It's unusual to walk away from it. Now, the city could take possession of that boat, and then it would most likely go to a public auction. Now, if you have any information on Wayne Ball, you are asked to contact the Naples City Dock. You can find that number on our website. Live in Collier County tonight, Julie Salamone, Fox 4, in your corner.